everything inside me. Hi everyone. How are you today? I often repeat this simple question in every video. You may often ask, is a simple question like this necessary? Is this question just a routine formality that need to be done by people who are not very close? What is the benefit of this? It's because this simple question can help improve the mental health of the interlocutor. Anyway, like always, I have some interesting photos to discuss today, all of them are old photos, but still very well worth discussing now. By the way, I'm sorry if lately I've been making videos about photos related to the occult elite. In my opinion, these photos are very useful to open people's eyes about the dark world that they consume in mass media. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This photo shoot, entitled Sweet Escape, was featured in W Magazine and was shot by Nick Knight, the director Lady Gaga's video Born This Way. The photo shoot is replete with mind control imagery, complete with references to trauma and alter personas. The title Sweet Escape references the concept of dissociation. In this image, the authorwardly model appears to be lifting up while reading a fairy tale, which are used to programmed MK slaves. In this pic, the model is holding a cage with a bird trapped in it, a classic symbol representing mind control. To make things more obvious, one of the birds is hiding one of the model's eyes, while the other is shown bleeding. In this pic, the model is in the clouds, or dissociation, and there's another emphasis on a single eye. She has red scars on her arms and legs, symbolizing the trauma and abuse of mind control. The model's alter persona lies dormant in a stroller, while the active persona is awake. She wears rabbit ears, symbol of mind control, as in follow the white rabbit towards dissociation. The reflection in the mirror is independent from the model, symbolizing the existence of a separate alter persona that is behind the looking glass. Scars on the chair still represent trauma. The skirted or unused alter personas laying lifeless on a dead tree. They are silenced by butterflies on their mouth, representing monarch programming. This entire photo shoot truly contains almost every symbol associated with mind control. The final images of the photo shoot are a lot darker, as if representing the final product of the MK slave. In this image, a black wedding with a dark side, the model doesn't seem too happy about it. Final image of the shoot, an emotionless model, in a very dark setting, with one eye hidden transformation complete. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. This is Robert Patterson in a Premier Magazine photo shoot that is replete with mind control symbolism. He is here shown as if he just got a lobotomy. An eye is drawn where his brain was extracted. This photo shoot from El Italia features the elite's favorite way of portraying models as lifeless puppets controlled by unseen handlers. No life, no control, and used to sell products. Yup, that pretty much sums up the fashion model. This calendar from Bazaar also exploits the concept of a controlled puppet. In this case, the handler is shown with one eye hidden, and looks quite evil. There is also an emphasis on one of the model's eye, as she is a reflection of her handler's will. When decoded, this symbolic image is an accurate and disturbing portrayal of the fashion world. In this photo shoot from Vogue US, featuring model Natalia Vidayanova, contains several familiar symbols. In this image, one of her eyes is hidden. Also, in the description of the pic, it is mentioned that the dress is like that of the robot in Metropolis. As seen in several previous videos, Metropolis, especially Maria the Android, is extremely important in the occult entertainment industry. This is Keith Urban combines one eye with a hidden hand, a Masonic symbol. 
This is Han Hyoju in September's edition of Vogue Korea. On this single cover, A Mirror is hiding one eye, and the name of the song is, Mind Controller. Can't really add more to that. A gigantic hat hides one of Gwen Stefani's eyes on the cover of Bazaar magazine. In the same photo shoot, the model is shown chilling between two Baphomet-looking heads. The same combination of symbols keeps coming back across the entertainment. This casual pic found on Beyoncé's Tumblr account. It features a ring the singer appears to love, as she has been spotted wearing it several times, notably during a performance at Coachella. The ring appears to be nothing else than the head of Baphomet. Speaking of Baphomet, here's a pic taken from a fan during Lady Gaga's Born This Way ball tour. This is Lady Gaga tributing Michael Jackson during a London Fashion Week. That's great, but why is she wearing big-ass Mickey Mouse ears, a symbol of mind control? Is she ridiculing the fact that MJ was a victim of the MK music industry? During the same fashion show, Gaga wore another outfit. But let's try to ignore that flowery thing she has on her face, and let's look at the guy next to her. Hat designer Philip Treacy. His t-shirt is also referring to Michael Jackson in an odd way, with a one-eyed chiricatural version of him. Why does it seem like people in the industry ridicule MJ's death? How about stopping these questionable tributes and let him rest in peace? Actress and singer Taylor Monson in a Zinc magazine shoot that is full of mind control symbolism. This pics allude to multiple personalities. One of her eyes is cut out. This symbol was also used in the art of MK victim Kim Noble, as it refers to the victim's partial loss of sight of reality. This is a poster for the Japanese movie, Helter Skelter. It tells the story of a woman named Ruriko, Sajiri, who received cosmetic surgery on her entire body, thus allowing her to become a shining top star in the entertainment industry. The imagery of the poster makes it clear that it is about mind control in the entertainment industry. Yup Japan is all into this occult elite symbolism. This pic of Gact is all about the one eye thing. But it's all over the world. We see here the one eye thing on the cover of German magazine Tush. Amanda Seyfried also has to do it. This ad for the Cirque du Soleil has an open eye on America, shut eye on Asia. Visa is also letting you know what they're about, dead is slavery. Nelly Furtado's video, Big Hoops, features her hiding one eye about a dozen times. Israeli singer, Marina Maximilian Blumen, on the cover of a magazine, with a monarch butterfly under one eye. She was discovered in an American Idol type show, which is the music industry's new preferred way to discover, to control, and to introduce new artists to the masses. Popular Welsh singer, Marina and the Diamonds, is all about one-eyed symbolism. Here she is on the cover of Factory magazine. Again, like all young female industry pawns, Marina poses as a blonde Mary Lynn Monroe, the prototype of industry-controlled sex kittens. So, this hair color is 6.66 Babylon. That's a pretty hardcore hair color name. This is homepage of the official website of Stitches. For no apparent reason, a model hiding one eye. This is Isabella Fontana in Allure magazine, with a mega emphasis on the one eye symbol. Another pic from Fontana's photo shoot with a collar, symbolizing control and dehumanization. Speaking of one eye, here's Cretion's girl Little Debbie. Speaking of one eye, here's the main image on Cheryl Cole's website. Speaking of one eye, here's the album cover of popular Polish singer Justyna Stachkowska. Speaking of one eye, here's another Polish singer Magda Stichkowska. Speaking of one eye, here's the cover of Fiona Apple's album. Speaking of one eye, here's an ad for shoes, or something. Speaking of one eye, it keeps appearing everywhere for no apparent reason, like in this bait catalog. Same catalog, same sign. Speaking of the one eye sign, here's another way of doing it with Jared Leto in a Terry Richardson photo shoot. 
him getting his eye poked out by someone, is basically what the occult elite does to artists. Super elite multi-billionaire Warren Buffett, at a party organized by Jay-Z. As TMZ now likes to say, he's throwing up the triangle sign. See the Masonic symbolism on Buffett's book cover. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.